Hi, Dr. Andrea McSwain here with Heather Proctor and her son, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what's been going on. Hi. So I want to ask you some questions. So how are you? I'm good. How are you today? Good, thanks. Kelvin, yes. how are you? Good. Yeah, what have you been doing today? Uh, I'm not thinking. Okay, all right. Kelvin, how old are you? Who are you? Okay. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do you remember how old you are on your birthday? Yes. How old? Uh, old is... 28. You're 28? Yes. Oh. <laughs> on your birthday, did you turn 14? Uh, 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 yes. Yes, not 28, not yet. No. Not yet. This is not 28. No. Calvin, you are 14 years old. Yes, sorry. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. And what um, diagnosis does Calvin have? Uh, he has autism. Okay, and what age was he diagnosed? I believe he was right around four. Okay. And um, what, um, when did you start working with Dr. Andrea? Um, he's had two visits, so approximately 10 days ago. Okay. Um, and what did you notice at the end of your session on the very first time? Um, he was going through an unraveling and unwinding process. Um, so when he was like three-ish, we started noticing um, that he would twist to sleep or to lie. Um, or in his car seat, he'd always end up in this U-shape. And that was actually the first thing that Dr. Andrea noticed when he laid down. She asked him if he always laid like that, and he does. And he, I believe he responded with yes. Um, and then the OMM treatment seemed to, it didn't seem to, it was having an unwinding effect within his body. So in, instead of being a 30-minute treatment, it ended up being a 60-minute treatment because he needed that time to really let the process unravel in his body. And what position did he take at the end of the treatment? He was actually laying flat. Okay. Yeah, and that is still there. He's still sleeping and lying in a much straighter position than he has his whole life, basically. What other uh, improvements have you noted in the last 10 days? Um, a major one for me was clarity, and it was, it was actually a pretty awesome moment because I could see him notice the clarity. It was like I lifted a sheet from his eyes and... Uh, not me, but the, the treatment had done that for him. Um, but he knew it is why it was so awesome for me because he realized that he was seeing things clearly, clearer and able to express them. So more words, longer sentences, clearer thoughts, those types of things. Well, wonderful. And um uh, with Kelvin's diet, do you have dietary considerations with him? Um, yeah, we try to stay pretty gluten-free. Um, not as much, I guess, as when he was younger. He doesn't have the same reactions. Um, before, there was a lot of giggling and um, shutting down, going inside, and those things don't seem to happen anymore, but we still stay pretty clean. Fruits and vegetables, supplements. He's been on supplements since he was probably three or four when we started that process too so no um he doesn't do any prescriptions it's just a clean diet and supplements as clean as we can he's a kid he still wants his pizza <laughs> oh oh yeah you like pizza yes um what's pizza is what's your favorite pizza do you remember the name i don't know Oh. Blaze Pizza. He he likes I them, and they have a gluten-free yeah, crust, no, no, no. so I do take him there. I wonder, is, is, wonder if this is happy. You wonder if you're happy? Yes. Where are you happy? It's H H-A-P-P-S. H-A-P-P-S? Yes, it's happy. H-A-P-P-Y? Yes. Yes, sir. Um, 
E I C Z A spells pizza. Happy's pizza. Oh, Happy's pizza. Yeah. Oh, Happy's pizza. That is brand new. Mm. He doesn't spell words to me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ever. This just happened oh. <laughs> live on camera. This is a nice big improvement. Um, or, you know, growth, obviously, for him. That's um, I've never seen that. He doesn't spell his words to me. Oh, and I don't go to Happy's Pizza. Oh, 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 <laughs> so you've seen yes. Happy's so, Pizza? Uh, yes. Or do you see the sign and you think about being happy? The sign is Happy's Pizza. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. See, so this is him oh, being able to tell me something that he wants. Like literally verbally say it to me and all this time I I didn't know and I would not have known because he didn't have the words. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now he has the spelling and the words. So I'm a little emotional. <laughs> well, we'll just keep working together, huh, Calvin? You saw. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on the table oh. where you lay there and I... Sometimes I pull my put my hand on your hand or put my hand on your back or your legs. Oh, yes, the table. You like the table? Yes. It feels good to your body. Yes. Uh, oh, what's the happiness? Oh, now you want to talk about Happy's Pizza? I want to talk about the table. Sure. Do you like going on the table? Yes. Where does it feel good? Yeah, look at a table. Oh, she has a chairs. She does have a chair in there. Too. Yes. And you lay on the table sometimes. Yeah. And I sit in my chair. Yeah. And then you lay there while I work on parts of your body and help that open up. And help your does it help your mind open up? Yeah. Mm hmm And your heart. Oh a uh, heart. Uh, the mm -hmm. heart. Oh, I think it's the heart. What's that? Oh, it's a good thing it's a heart. It's a good thing it's a heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say anything. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Calvin. And not say anything to you, Star. Well, I'm going to stop the video now. Sorry, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah.